How's it going everyone? It's Nick here with Mechanic Built and I know it's been a while since I posted but a couple things I want to say before we start this video. Thanks for the 2,000 subscribers and another thing too I actually kind of lifted the Maverick so more on that later in another video but to start off with another post I'm gonna be showcasing the Guam Liberation and Just Illusion rides that I was invited to. This meet slash car show however you want to put it was kind of just pretty much a get together of the people of Guam. Now, this has to be one of the most relaxed, laid-back mini truck slash car show, meet show, what, however you want to put it, that I've been to in a long time. This event is not only about showcasing the cars and the mini trucks, but it's the celebration of the indomitable spirit and the resilience of the people of Guam, and those who have overcome significant challenges to embrace their freedom and culture. Not only the people of Guam came to this event, those from different backgrounds have shown up to celebrate the 79th annual liberation of Guam. Now, this show slash meet has everything from a massive potluck to vendors showcasing their apparel and all the food, there was a lot of food, but it was easy for us to just lay back and have a good time. So hopefully you guys will learn a thing or two about Guam just like I did and check out some cool cars, or in this case, a lot of mini trucks. So I've been to plenty of car shows and you were the one that invited me. Heck, me and him were actually the ones. We went over there, we got the permit for this place and you weren't lying about bringing everyone from essentially like all, yep. everything cultural wise for Guam. So just tell a little bit about this because I'll tell you right now, this is actually probably one of the most chillest meets I've ever been to Appreciate it. as a car guy. Yep. So tell me a little bit about the, the, uh, the car aspect of the event. All right, so what, pretty much all we do is for the people. Yes, it's all about the car events, right? We, we love our projects, we love our hobbies, right? But since COVID happened, it eliminated all that. It took away freedom for all of us, right? So we started as Isla Rides, Tropic Illusions, and Just For Fun, and What A Kind, and all those guys that came together, right? Now, we wanted to do it just so we can bring the people, not just for the project, but we wanted to bring the people back out get to mingle, have fun, enjoy family, friends they've never seen for a long time, are you right? And family, I mean, we've got some people here that never knew they were family until they got here. And that's what we love doing. It's not just about the vehicles and trucks or anything like that, but it's more for the people. Yeah, and it's just like any other car meet, but with a little bit more, I guess you could say with a Guam twist, right? Yes. You would yeah, say a that? Island twist. Yeah, because it's, it, like I said, it's way more laid back. I've been to plenty of car shows where People that have hundreds of thousands of dollars worth into their classic cars or just cars in general yep. would just end up nitpicking at a show. And with this, you know, pretty much like you guys just, you just kind of hit it out of the park because I've been almost like no problem, just laid back, just chilling, you know. Lance, Nick. So, D'Lo told me earlier, he was the one about the cars and you were about the? The Guam Liberation. So basically what a Guam Liberation is, is uh, 79 years ago, our island was uh, liberated by the Americans when we were captured through the Japanese occupation, uh, World War II. So every year our island has celebrated the liberation of our people, getting back our island, our culture, our history, and just being us again. 
but with the twist of America in us. For those who don't know, Guam is a U.S. territory, and we are where America's day begins. So they are a day ahead of us right now. So 79 years ago, we, our people decided to celebrate us, and it's been every year since that. This is my second year running uh, the liberation out here in Spanaway. And uh, like what Lauren said earlier, it's, it's amazing how it brings people we haven't seen in years. You know, we got people that travel from Guam to attend the event. So it's, uh, it's amazing how we get to see everybody just come together and enjoy a little island style. Because we all can't afford to go back home and, you know, celebrate like how we used to do. So we bring bring home to us. Home's never far when, when, when you're with each other. Yeah. And then, uh, like I was telling Dila, I come from, um, half in, I'm half Indonesian. I come from that background. And pretty much there's a lot of similarities when I came out here. I'm like, when it comes to the, just, uh, like, the dishes and this, the culture and everything. And it's kind of nice to know that, you know, everybody's welcomed here too. So, I mean, I'm glad this is about culture and this is with cars and like you said, with the American twist, yeah. right? So, are you guys gonna be doing this again next year? Every year. Yes. Yeah, we're planning uh, to do Yeah, this year we collaborated, you know, appreciate these guys reaching out to us. Uh, it just so happened our events landed on the same day. We, you know, we just go, hey, let's collab. You know, we're all one people. We may come from different islands, different parts of Marianas. But we're one people, one blood, one family. Yeah, so you know, up. appreciate the invite to collab with uh, Just News and Rides, and we're looking forward to an every year celebration with them. And where would somebody uh, find out about the events in general if they so want to go I, I check it out in Washington State here? Uh, we did a lot of uh, advertising during uh, social media, Facebook, Instagram. Uh, we can try to publicize next year. Probably have some flyers out. Yes, we're gonna try to yes, make it a little bigger event next year. 80 years since our people were liberated next year, so. To try to go above and beyond, bigger than what we have right now. I mean, any bigger than this, I think you guys are going to need a fairground. Yeah, yeah. And I we mean, took up the park. Year. You know, we took up the park already. That's so right. every year it gets bigger, it gets bigger every time, and bigger. So you know, I one, mean, one it, sto you know, one story, one, one event. You know, oh man, just do it next year. Yeah. It gets more and more people just to come out in. I mean, if you kind of look behind us, it looks more like a market than an actual card show. Right? <laughs> yeah. You got all, the, all, the all the nice cars out there, bikes out there, all that, that way. And then every car's welcome too. You know, I got my. 2022 Maverick out there. Right. You got your project truck and your daily driver out there. But um, again, it, uh, it was Lance from uh, Guam Liberation. And then Dilo with Just an Illusion Rides. Like I said, plenty of times in this video, it's a relaxed, laid back meet. And with Guam Liberation celebrating the 79th annual liberation of Guam, I knew of Guam when I came into this show, but coming to this show in particular, I learned so much more. I learned the people are just more than welcoming. You don't have to be from the island of Guam in order to come here and feel welcomed. They're just here for the good vibes and the good times. Plus, one of the members from one of the clubs actually was giving away a mini truck project. And since we're a YouTube channel and not affiliated with any car club, I decided that Jared would be a good fit in order to pick a winner. Hey, can you one more? Yeah. One ticket. Yeah. All right, everybody get your tickets out. Good luck on uh, winning the ticket. I mean the ticket. truck. Six, nine, eight, six, zero, one, one zero. Zero, one, zero. Oh my God. Six, oh. 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 We got a win!